बिस्मिल्लाम वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न मैथ विथ सैयद अली सो टूडे वी आर डूइंग क्वेश्चन ऑन वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सिलेंडर एंड दिस इज बीन सेंड टू माई ई मेल बाई वन ऑफ माई रिमोट स्टूडेंट एंड द क्वेश्चन इज अ डीजल टैंक थर्टी फीट लॉन्ग टेन फीट डायमीटर प्लेस्ड हॉरिजोंटली सो a cylindrical tank like this is placed horizontally for diesel storage so the diameter is given which is 10 feet and the length is given so here height is replaced by the length right so length is 30 feet long and we know that volume is equals to pi r square h so r in this case will be 5 feet and when we solve this question the volume will be in cubic feet and then we have to convert these cubic feet into liters so we have to remember the conversion factor and mostly this question um, is in uh, uh, our daily life like engineers and um, technicians has to face this because if they are the powerhouse they have the diesel storage in their factory uh, so they have to calculate the uh, diesel capacity per inch of the diesel tank so that is called uh, dip stick through which they can take the dip to get the level or what is available level of quantity of the uh, diesel or gas available in the tank or whatever storage you have in that tank so that that is dip level or dip stick and that stick is called dip stick right so this is everyday example we we are facing in in industry and in uh, so dip stick uh, is sometimes like it is per inch of the depth of the tank per inch so we will also calculate the same because he is saying what is the capacity of the storage tank in liters and gallons what is the capacity of the diesel available at 4 feet of this tank if now i have a sounding somebody take it and see oh there is a 4 feet level left so what is the available diesel at that point in time c part is what capacity you can measure per inch of the depth per inch of the depth means dip stick right so how you can say that what is level in per inch per inch means we have 10 feet depth so total inches available is 120 inch right so 120 inch so we have to have a stick which has got per inch level right so how much we have available right or we can have a um, have a gauge here and that can tell you the level every time and with that gauge that level you have a scale attached right so you can see only the inches here and then the the conversion factor is the technician or that company has so they just take take that okay the level is 6 inches level is 48 inches level is 36 inches and they know the capacity in liters or gallons so this is our questions today what capacity of this storage tank in liters and gallons second thing is in gallon when we say in gallons in industry it is always um, like uh, it is in the question it should be given that is it a us gallon or imperial gallon it's like country wide difference uh, in measurement so one gallon is called us gallon right so if question say that convert it into us gallons then we are clear we don't have to go for the imperial gallon but if question doesn't say he says that in liters and gallons then probably we have to calculate this in imperial gallon and us gallons so we have uh, the conversion factors for though both of them from liters to us gallons and imperial gallons so we will see this question in broad sense so now we start our volume which will be in cubic feet as i said so volume is equals to pi r square h h is replaced as length because this is placed horizontally so 3.14 r square r is 5 because diameter is given which is uh, 10 feet so 5 square times l which is 30 feet and if i multiply all these so i will be having 23 55 cubic feet 
but this is cubic feet we are looking at liters and gallons right so to convert this into liters uh, we have to multiply remember this factor we ha i will put it in the, in some other ink so we have to multiply this cubic feet multiplied by 28.1317 not 37 317 so if we multiply cubic feet with 28.317 we will be having uh, liters so we have cubic feet so we convert it by multiplying this by 28.317 which gives us 66000 so this tank is 66686 liters right liters now what we are looking at we, we will talk about gallons later because now first we are telling uh, first we are calculating everything like a b c in liters and then we can convert those liters into uh, us and imperial gallon because that, that's just a multiplication case right you know the conversion and you multiply with that conversion factor so here you need to understand 28.317 if so the total capacity total capacity of this uh, diesel tank it can hold 66686 liters and b part is what capacity of diesel available at 4 feet of the level so if it is 4 feet uh, i will do c part first what capacity you can measure per inch of the depth so per inch means this is the total quantity per 120 inch right we have 120 inch here available because my depth is diameter and diameter is 10 feet, which is 128 in, 120 inch. So I have to divide these liters, 66,686 divided by 120. If I divide by 120, that will be my liters per inch. So I divide it by uh, 120 and I get, like I am rounding it off, 556 liters per inch. So this is my liters per inch. This is kind of my dipstick measurement, right? Every inch of this tank is holding 556, 556 liters, every inch, right? So now this is, so our B part, uh, our C part, because now I make a dipstick and I know that what my values are in terms of liters per inch of this tank. So the uh, B part was that what capacity available at four feet, four feet means 48 inch, four feet, I convert it into 48 inches because my level gauge is now in inches. I have this 556 liters per inch. So I can say that, okay, if you have 556 liters per inch and I am looking at 48 inch, so 556 liters per inch times 48 inch, I will get what is my level at four feet of level. Four feet means 48 inch. So I multiply it and um, 556 times 48. So if you multiply it, it will be like 26,674 liters. Six, 26,674 liters. So these are my liters at four feet level. Now we deal with the uh, gallons thing, right? Because I have to change in B part um, or in A part in liters and in gallons, right? But I will change everything. If we know that what is uh, my conversion factor and how to convert it into imperial gallon or US gallon, we can easily do that uh, by dividing, right? First of all, how to remember it? Uh, we have come across this conversion several times uh, in industry or in one liter. So, or you can say not one liter, I can remember it like this, more easy. 3.785 liters is equals to one US gallon, right? and 4.546 liters is equals to one imperial gallon. So you have to remember these two conversion factors or if you do not want to remember this, then you can remember that if you want to convert liters into US gallon, you have to multiply 
liters by 0.264172 to get US gallons, right? So if I have total capacity of 6,686 times 0.264172, so I will be getting my US gallon capacity. And my US gallon capacity is 17,617 USG. This is my US gallon, right? If I want to convert these US gallons into imperial gallons, so I have to multiply the same 68,686 times, if, uh, times uh, 0.219969, and I will be having imperial gallon, 14,669 imperial gallon, right? So we have the, those capacities, right? Or if you want to talk about all of these, like in imperial gallons or in, um, in US gallons, you can convert it by yourself, of course. But here in the first part, what is the capacity of this storage tank in liters and gallons? So I convert both like uh, liters, liters were 66,686 and I convert them in uh, US gallons and imperial gallons. So remember these two conversion factors, um, it will, it is our daily use example in industry. Whatever you are storing in a storage tank, you have to calculate the cubic feet, that is the volume, and then you have to convert it into liters or into US gallons or imperial gallons. So you can, uh, enjoy with this uh, solution and you can make uh, others to understand it so hope you like the video if you like it subscribe to my channel press the bell icon button share it with others um, and uh, thank you for watching